Boy, I'm getting way off track. But <laughs> That's what happens when I don't make a video for like two months or four months, however long it's been. I was busy, but I'm back. You hear me? I'm back. That's right. Back. So, I'm putting the old uh, finishing touches here on my Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord configuration. And something has come up, which I've covered before. I always screw up the name. Sek Sekiro? Sekido? I don't whatever. When a long press doesn't do what you want it to do. And my solution in this video was you make it a turbo. Because it's basically like the game, the game can tell the difference between something being held and something being pushed. One way around that is uh, doing the old turbo. And then it would just kick it in, you know, like a reload. Like you can't really spam reload. So when you do reload, it's gonna kick in that animation even though it's turboed. Just to give you an idea, a little bit of the background. So back to mount and blade. I wanted to have a long press on the right stick open up my quests. Regular is inventory, long is quests. So I did... You know, we got regular. This is just my, my haptic on it. You know, regular. Long press is J for... My quests, I like to shorten the long press a little bit. Hold the turbo. So I press right because <laughs> J is open quests and close quests, so that's not going to work. And then, just to you know, give you the full context and show, when we take the turbo off... I'm holding... Let's, um... Get this up, maybe. There. So J, but it doesn't actually register until I let go of the stick. J, let go. Well, that, that's no good either. So, for this particular situation... Like, actually, Encyclopedia was the same way. They must have just patched it, because it they changed it. But Encyclopedia was... N and N to close. I'm, I'm just using my keyboard right now. But I'm pressing N to close it and it's not closing it so that they change that. Anyways, I'm digressing. I had to ramble on a little bit. I'm doing the same... Me I'm going to keep the same method for Encyclopedia just because it, it was doing this when I first made the profile, so... What I'm doing is... We go to long press. Instead of J, we're gonna go to... Apply action layer. I'm gonna go to my R-pad click. Tur turn the notifications off. Okay, so... My R-pad... Right... Right pad click, that was so I could have a regular and long press on my mode shift click, which it's a whole different thing. Mode shifts don't really register activators, so if you want to do multiple things on a mode shift, you'll have to go to an action layer. But anyways, so then on this layer, so we have the long press goes to this layer which on a start press has J and a release press gets rid of this layer. I always give things like this a little bit of a fire start delay that basically is kind of like insurance. It's giving you a little bit of a buffer in case you push it really fast because it's really easy with action layers to get them stuck on because sometimes it doesn't register the release press. So I always give it a little bit of a fire start delay. And now... Hey, look at that. We go into quests, I push it again. Closes it. And that's pretty much it. So that is just another little way, 
Let's turn that off. Just another little way to use action layers. Well, just another workaround when you come across something that seems like a blocker. Like, the long press is kind of designed to be something that you hold, but I don't want it to work like that. So you can either try a turbo, which works often, but in this particular instance it didn't, not the end of the world, I can just use an action layer, which I already had created anyways for my right pad click here, so I could... Holding this as a... Uh, let's turn it. Got ahead of myself, leave that on. So that's use or a quick click is my kick. It's the way the game is, there's a cooldown for it, so kick, cooldown kick. I was making sure that it wasn't like a start release press issue. That's that's been a problem in the past too. Boy, I'm getting way off track. <laughs> that's what happens when I don't make a video for like two months or four months, however long it's been. I was busy, but I'm back. You hear me? I'm back. That's right. Back. <laughs> Let me get back to Polishing this up and hopefully getting it on out there. All right. I will see you around. I think he kind of looks like Floki from Vikings. Yeah.